Welcome to the lesson, Graphing Quadratic Functions in Vertex Form. Here's vertex form, f of x equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. The vertex is identified from h and k in the given equation. So the formula is x subtract h. So if this were x minus 2, h would be 2. If this were x plus 2, then x, h would be negative 2. k has a positive or negative value depending what operation precedes it. h is the opposite because it's subtract h. Axis of symmetry is a line x equals h. The axis of symmetry passes through the vertex. The value of a cannot be zero. This would no longer be a quadratic function if this was equal to zero. It would eliminate the x squared term. The graph is a horizontal translation, left or right h units compared to the parent function. And the graph will be a vertical translation, k units up or down, depending on the value of k compared to the parent function. Let's go through the steps of graphing a function in vertex form. First, you want to identify and plot the vertex, h, k. Draw the axis of symmetry. It's the line that passes through the vertex, a vertical line. Then evaluate the function for two additional points and plot the reflection. Select any two inputs and then evaluate for your ordered pair. And step four, draw a smooth curve through your points. Let's go ahead and do a practice problem. Let's graph this function. So first I'm going to identify and plot the vertex. The value of h is positive 3. The value of k is positive 1. So I have a vertex of the ordered pair 3, 1. Plot it on your graph. Go ahead and draw the axis of symmetry, which passes through the vertex, the vertical line x equals 3. Step 3, we're going to evaluate the function for two additional points. So I selected inputs of 1 and 2, giving me an ordered pair of 1, 9, and an ordered pair of 2, 3. So we're going to go ahead and plot those on our graph. Here's the ordered pair 1, 9, and then I'll reflect it over the axis of symmetry. So this is two units to the left. There will be also a point on the graph two units to the right of that. And then here's my ordered pair 2, 3. That is one unit to the left reflect it over, and you have another point, one unit to the right. Step four, draw your smooth curve through your points, and you have your graph. Let's compare this to the parent function. It is horizontally translated three units to the right, vertically translated one unit up, and vertically stretched by a factor of two. So you can see that when it's in vertex form, it's visually easy to identify the transformation of the function. Your turn. I'd like you to pause the video, graph this, come back and hit play when you're ready to check your graph. Step one, you should have identified your vertex. This would be negative two, x subtract negative two, k value, negative one, so I have an ordered pair of negative two, one. Now I can identify my axis of symmetry to be the line x equals negative two. I need to evaluate the function for two additional points. I chose negative one and zero to get negative one, two and zero, one. So I've plotted my vertex, negative two, negative one, drawn my axis of symmetry. I've plotted my point, negative one, two, that is one to the right of the axis of symmetry, so I reflect it one over to the left. My other point, 0, 11, is two units to the right, reflect it to get one, two units to the left, and I drew a smooth curve through my points. Comparing this to the parent function, it was horizontally translated two units to the left, vertically translated one unit down, and vertically stretched by a factor of three. You can take a quadratic function written in vertex form and mathematically transform it to be in standard form. 
Let's go ahead and do an example. So the first thing you want to do is multiply x plus 2 squared. x plus 2 times x plus 2 results the quantity x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then you want to distribute the value of a, which will result 3x squared plus 12x plus 12, subtract 1. Now combine your like terms, giving you the same function written in standard form f of x equals 3x squared plus 12x plus 11. If you remember back to your graph, you can see that your y-intercept was 11. And notice that a has the same value, whether it's in vertex form or standard form. Likewise, you can take a function that's written in standard form and write it in vertex form. To do this, you would first want to find the axis of symmetry using the formula x equals negative b divided by 2a, giving me an axis of symmetry of x equals 2. Find the vertex. You go ahead and evaluate. You know the vertex falls on the axis of symmetry. So evaluate this function for an input of 2, giving me an output of 13, so I know my vertex is 213. Write this in vertex form. A is still negative 2, and here's the input of my vertex. So negative 2 times the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 13. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today.